Thank you both for being here. Thanks for coming to see us. Lovely to see you. Long time no see, Jake. Now you were just you were just up in Las Vegas. Yes. What do you get up to there? My brother and I went to see the band Chicago. Oh yes. yes. New, band. yes. new band. Yes. The new band yeah, Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> and it was funny because we went and we're big fans, but we weren't sure if it was going to be funny or awesome. Right. Yes. And I know what you mean. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. And, and when we get there, it's it's an older crowd. You know, a lot of seventy-year-old ladies in the front row going sure. nuts. Yeah, Yeah. And then the singer at one point goes, I'm now going to take you guys to the magical 80s. And boy, did he. Really? <laughs> Go it, on. it got so good that my brother and I were like in our Chicago shirts being like, this is fun, to being like, yes! Oh, I love the that. Best. They killed it. Oh, that's a dream. Killed it, it was. Because you're right, it's always a worry when yes. you go and see a band that you love that much, you're like, I don't know which... Side well, of the I don't line know how many of the fall. original guys are going to be there. Of course. And then they hit a groove where, middle of it, you just went, oh, you guys still this have it. it. Of course they this do. This is paradise. They never went anywhere. They never went anywhere. <laughs> Jay, do you, get up to, do you get to spend much time in Vegas? I was just there this weekend. No, you weren't. Yeah, I was just, literally, I had not been in, around that many people in uh, probably about two years, yeah. the COVID sure. thing. So I was out there, and I actually saw the Jabberwockies. But, you know. The Jabberwockies? Yeah, the Jabberwockies were amazing. I, Honestly, I'm not have... completely familiar with the Jabberwockies. <laughs> Never heard of them. <laughs> well, no, show no. us. Show no, I've, heard, <laughs> I've heard the phrase. Yeah. But I don't know that I'm completely familiar. What well, kind of vibe was it? Well, it was like this exploration into like hip hop music, which was kind of really dope. I like, right. you know, I, I am not a dancer or a singer, so I could appreciate that kind of stuff. Nice. Yeah. Didn't yeah. Shaq do that for a little bit? Wasn't I, he into it for a little bit? <laughs> I don't know, but he's massive. Yes. I don't Shaq, know how, don't know how that works. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Shaq danced with the Jabberwockies at an NBA All-Star game. And he was good. He was really yes. good. Okay, that's what I was He remember. used to be a break dancer when he was growing up, and then all of a sudden he was seven feet tall, and, they, and he, his body <laughs> yeah. didn't let right. him do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no head spinning when you're seven feet tall. No, it's tough. <laughs> Real tough. You grow now, out of Jake, it. there's something I want to talk to you about. Please. And I know for a fact... There's some ladies at the back of the uh, audience there who will agree with this. Very excited that you're here because you, Jake Sons, you, you've become, I mean, I thought you always were, Thanks. you've become quite the sex symbol. Yeah. Your new show, <laughs> Minx, started airing and it's gone nuts. It's gone nuts this day. What, yeah. what, what do you make of all of this newfound attention? Well, I'll tell you, the only thing I was weird about it was on Twitter, I got uh, slut shamed for the shirts my character wears. Right. <laughs> yeah. And is it DP? Is it <laughs> yeah, DP? Yeah. It's yeah. a 70s show. <laughs> and somebody wrote, like, uh, Jake Johnson is entering his uh, slut era. Ooh. <laughs> And it really hurt my feelings. Right. And I thought, like, I'm not entering my slut era. No. <laughs> but then it kind of, like, started setting in, and I started looking at, like, other guys who are going through, like, their slut phases. Yeah. <laughs> we were on a family vacation to Arizona by the pool, and I saw these dads in, like, shorts and tank tops. And all I think is, like, you slut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Showing off your little arms, you slut. Get back flops. in your flow. Yeah. Cover those feet, you yeah. slut. <laughs> <laughs> All these dads just slutting it up. <laughs> slut dads. Yeah, slut dads. Great name for a band. Oh, yeah. I'm dads. going to see slut dads. Yeah. And they still rock. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, they we rock might too. score if it was going to be awesome. But the slut fun. dads got the it, slut baby. dads, they never lost it. <laughs> they do not. Now, Jay, I want to talk to you about this. I, this is incredibly impressive. While you were filming Magnum P.I., yes. you saved a guest star's life, which is an amazing thing to do. <laughs> Talk me through it. Tell me the story. What happened? I'll give you the short version because it's quite long, but we were doing this scene, and um, the actor in the scene had to eat a piece of meat, like a piece of steak. So he cut this piece of steak off, which was accidentally gigantic. Right. I don't know how he thought he was going to, you know, finish this piece of meat. Puts it in his mouth. We're doing the scene, and he's trying to get it down as we're going through the scene. It gets stuck. Oh, no. And when I say get stuck, it was legitimately stuck. And it was, like, really, really bad. Let me right. preface this by saying he's OK, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but it got stuck. Uh, and then the medic had to come run over, do the Heimlich maneuver. But something happened with the medic. He was about to pass out himself. So I jumped in. I was doing the Heimlich maneuver. And, uh, you know, meat and saliva and all this stuff is going on. But he eventually gets enough of it out to where he's, you know, he can breathe again. Paramedics come. We shut down. This crazy thing happens, right? So next day, I'm, I'm scouting because I'm directing the following episode. Right. Uh, I got a call from the COVID department, and they're like, 
Um, I heard about what happened yesterday. Pretty amazing that you helped save this guy's life. That being said, uh, the actor just tested positive for COVID, so you're probably gonna have COVID tomorrow. <laughs> Two days later, I get a call, I got COVID. So, I mean, at the end of the day, though, if you're gonna get it, you get it trying to save somebody's well, life, Well, that's right? the dream of it. <laughs> that's, come on, but also, come on, kid. You're saving his life? Yeah, he yeah, He gives yeah. you COVID? Yeah, I know, I That's know. how this kid says thank you? He, he dropped the COVID, but it wasn't just me. It was like, in an apartment, <laughs> oh, a bunch, of, bunch of people. Yes, yes. Oh, that is a COVID nightmare. It was biological warfare, is what it was. <laughs> now, Jake, we have to congratulate you on your brilliant new show, Minx. Thanks, Jim. It's on HBO. For anyone who doesn't know, tell us what it's about and who you play. It's, uh, it takes place in 1972. It's about basically the start of Playgirl. And I play a, a publisher who takes this young feminist and we together make the first, you know, male nude magazine. And it's you and Ophelia Loverbond, who are brilliant, yeah. brilliant The cast actress. is so deep. Everybody's really talented. The writing's great. We came out on HBO Max a couple weeks ago, and we're really fired up. Now, the, the show uh, has a very interesting, uh, in the first episode, uh, a penis montage. Yeah. Mm. When you read that in the script, what was your initial reaction? I'm in shock. Yeah. Uh, can I read it? Yeah. Do you mind? No, it's, well, it's, it's, it's on the show. Let's, let's hear it. So... I was reading a script for a pilot, and I saw this. Hey, it's a d montage. <laughs> All the d in every color. Tiny, huge, curved, straight, cut, uncut. <laughs> One so hairy, it gets lost. <laughs> Sign me up for the Sign show! Sign me up! <laughs>